What up YouTube? Today I want to bring you a brand new video talking about something that a friend of mine on YouTube actually posted about the other day and that is whether or not subscribers actually care about gameplay and or commentary. The dude I'm talking about by the way is Higgsy007. If you guys don't know him go check him out. He has some really awesome commentaries on Black Ops 3 uh, and I'll link his channel down below and shout out to him for the video idea. So basically in the video he had a one of his subscribers um, at him on Twitter and said hey you know I just wanted to know do you think subscribers actually care about the gameplay uh, on your channel or do you think you know do, do subscribers not really care about the commentary they just come for the gameplay uh, and I think he had a really cool video and I, I just wanted to give my thoughts on the matter and also branch off into a separate topic that I'll cover in a different video that we'll talk about later on I think this is a really good question because I know a lot of people starting out on YouTube uh, are trying to you know get really good gameplays to post on YouTube uh, and then as you know you progress a little further you find that you might not have the time to actually invest in getting really good gameplays on Call of Duty because you know you only have an hour you know maybe a week with school and work and stuff to really sit down and play and the rest of the time has to be spent on editing and making the videos in that time frame if you don't get a gameplay with like an 8kd uh, you might be discouraged and say well crap I don't actually have anything to upload or uh, I could just upload these other gameplays where I get like you know a 1.8 or a 2.5 kd uh, is that actually good enough will people actually watch the video if I only have you know a, a smaller kd video like do people actually care about it on the other hand, you, you might have a ton of time to play video games, but you just don't really have any topics to talk about. So you think, okay, well, if I have this 10KD gameplay and I have a couple of those saved on my computer, uh, but I don't really know what to talk about, you know, do people really care if the commentary is bad or, you know, maybe I can just go on there and talk about my life or my day or something and people will just sit back and watch the really awesome gameplay. In my personal opinion, I think commentary is more important than gameplay, but you do have to find some sort of nice balance and I'll explain to you why. The reason gameplay comes second, in my opinion, is because there's so many people on YouTube uh, posting gameplay of Call of Duty or Overwatch or CSGO or whatever that I think that if somebody wanted to really see a really good gameplay there's already channels out there that are constantly uploading gameplays that are absolutely mind-blowing so because of that I think you really only need a decent gameplay obviously you don't want one where you are getting your team is getting completely stomped or or one where you have you know a 0.07 or a point point six nine KD but something good enough something where it's like an interesting match to watch I think even if you lose by a few points as long as the game is actually entertaining to watch uh, then I think it's really fine to do as long as you have a good commentary over it yo real quick I made these brownies yesterday oh my god they're amazing oh, it's so sticky it's it's so gooey and it's stuck to the thing oh. I think it is worth noting though that some people on YouTube actually do get popular for really really good gameplays you know the mark of J comes to mind right away he posts gameplays where he gets a hundred plus kills and that's a that's definitely a route that you can take if you think you're good enough but there's definitely a drawback to that in my opinion I feel like some people on YouTube try so hard to get really high kill gameplays just so that way they can make a really catchy thumbnail or title that you have people reverse boosting and people setting up shots and people setting up games to where you know you're never going to legitimately compete with them because they're not playing by the rules but they still have those catchy thumbnails and the catchy titles and people are still gonna watch them I'm not gonna name any names but there are definitely some youtubers on this site uh, that reverse boost just so that way they get into gun battles and into games with people that are really really shitty at the game uh, and then they go off and get 80 90 plus kills and they post that on YouTube and boast about how good they are and at the end of the day uh, you know I would too if I'm versing you know a team full of four-year-olds <laughs> I understand where they're coming from though because if you build your channel on these high kill gameplays right uh, and you end up in a spot where you have to keep competing with yourself because you have to keep beating out the last you know record or the last game that you got so you end up getting it to a point where yeah like your first few videos people watch them because you got 70 bombs or whatever and people are like holy shit dude this guy's really good but after a while you know they come to expect that and they and they don't want to keep seeing that so you think okay shit I gotta start posting 80 plus kill gameplays or 90 plus kill gameplays or a hundred plus Plus kill gameplays and you get to a point where it's just not even possible anymore and you're still competing with the person that you used to be um, and and you're competing with your audience because they want to see something new and exciting from you uh, and they're tired of seeing the same stuff so it, you know at, at a point you have to actually reverse boost just so that way you can get those high kill gameplays because otherwise it would be impossible and this is why I think it's not good to build your channel off of high kill gameplays because eventually uh, the expectations that are put on you and your channel are just too high 
high and you have to resort to like i said reverse boosting or setting up lobbies or, or cheating or or whatever and at the end of the day i think commentaries are just a better route in general because then your audience gets to know you and gets to care about you more uh, than just your call of duty skills in the pub lobbies so if anybody out there is actually looking to start a youtube channel and they want to start you know gaming on youtube i think it's important to realize that you do need good gameplay but it only has to be above average i don't think it has to be you know mark of j quality in order to go on youtube uh, back in the day you know back in modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 things like that uh, i think my opinion would be a little bit different because there weren't uh that many you know different creative commentaries and types of videos and things like that and a lot of people you know figured if you're gonna post on youtube it's got to be good uh, but now i think a lot of times people just come to videos for the personality and the person that's actually talking to the camera uh, and what they bring to the table in terms of opinions or entertainment value like i said before if you want high killing gameplays there's people already on youtube uh, that upload daily content that is really really good uh, and people who are you know the small amount of people that actually only want to see super high killing gameplays can just go there uh, they don't they don't need another person in my opinion uh, to do that but in terms of commentaries and opinions those are all unique every person uh, can have an individual uh, personality and a different personality or opinion on a certain topic and a certain flair or a certain entertainment value uh, that they bring to the table and I think you know you can't just go somewhere else uh, to find that person's content you know ideally everybody would be unique on YouTube or, or at least in in some specific ways with you know maybe how they talk or or their specific points of view or maybe just the hand gestures that I do or the way that I set up my videos that's all you know something that I would like to think is is unique to me obviously you know I bring uh, or I take inspiration from other people on YouTube people that I aspire to be like and people that you know I aspire to you know achieve their level uh, obviously I'm going to emulate them in, in some in some ways but I do think it's really important that uh, you know you take into account the fact that you know there is originality in someone's own opinion and how they do things on YouTube and I think that that is the most important thing, you know, building up your, uh, I guess, your personal quote unquote brands in that people know what to expect from you personally when they come to your channel uh, and they're not just coming there for the 80, 90, 100 plus kill gameplays. Dude, I'm just staring at this fucking brownie right now and I want to eat it, but it's so chewy that it takes me like five minutes to like clear it all out of my mouth so I can talk again and I'm trying to wait till I'm done recording. Okay, fuck it, I just got it. All right, the brownie's gone, we're good, we're ready to roll, let's continue on. So in a nutshell, commentaries over gameplay, in my opinion, and that's definitely something that Higgsy said in his videos as well. I just wanted to give my little two cents on it and, and explain it in my own way, I guess. I don't know, I think that's the whole point of the video, right? The other thing that I wanted to talk about, and this is the second part of what I mentioned in the beginning of the video, is the way that people change as they grow on YouTube. You know, uh, you know, some people might start off on YouTube posting high-killing high gameplays or really impressive, you know, clutch plays on YouTube, and then as they grow bigger, like, 100,000 subs or more their content starts to change uh, and people always wonder why and I think it's really uh, a really cool phenomenon to watch uh, and some people actually really hate it you know this is something that I've definitely seen recently especially on Nade Shot's videos you know I watch them and a lot of times pretty he pretty much only posts vlogs and different types of you know I guess skip videos you could say or day in the life videos on his main channel and his second channel is actually for gameplay now and people you know in the comment section are saying you know oh my god who is this guy this is not the Nade Shot that I subscribe to back in 2012 or, or back in you know 2010 or whenever he started I don't even know <coughs> you know people are saying you know where's the call of duty you know this isn't the same nerdy Matt that I subscribe to you know now he's you know dressing up all fancy and he's buying these expensive shoes and he's acting not like the same person that I used to know back when I first subscribed to him I think that phenomenon is really awesome and I would love to talk about that but I don't want to make this video too long so if you guys want to hear me talk about why I think youtubers change their content as they get bigger uh, definitely smack a like on this video if this video gets 15 likes I will make that next part as soon as possible and hopefully you guys enjoy with this video if you did make sure you comment down below telling me what you think gameplay or commentary i'd love to hear your opinions obviously you guys are the ones watching uh but the opinions that i expressed in this video are just my own uh and obviously you know i also am a subscriber of people on youtube and this is just my own opinion and what i've observed so i would love to hear yours in the comment section below if you're new around here i'd love if you would subscribe to my channel it's free i really do appreciate it and it helps my channel a ton so make sure you hit that sub button before you leave and that's it guys so thanks for watching this has been omniarch and i will talk to you guys later. Later. Peace. I think I'm gonna have another brownie. Let's go grab another one of those.